A rough start to the season, the worst, as we all know, in franchise history. Reporter Taylor Nimmo has been around the stadium and the banks all evening talking to businesses about how this historic start is impacting their bottom line. Yeah, and she's actually joining us live right now. Taylor, how was the crowd out at the banks tonight for this game? Oh, Craig, Tanya, it was a lively night out here at the banks. And in fact, it's 11 o'clock on a Monday night. And take a look behind me how many people are still out here. A lot of fans from the stadium have kind of migrated over there, but it's been packed all night long. The weather certainly helped that. I've been talking with vendors, musicians, and bars around the stadium about how much of what the Reds actually do on the field impacts their business. This season definitely is a lot less than what I usually make. Darius Clay is a musician. He plays buckets outside the stadium and he dresses up as Batman. He says the amount of money he makes is dependent on how the Reds play. If people are winning, then we're making great money. Uh, with the Reds been losing this whole year, the money has not been as good as this usually is. Clay says the mood of people coming out of the ballpark has a substantial impact on business. If they're not winning, they're not in a happy mood, which has also caused them not to want to give money out. Brandis Turner plays the trumpet. He says when the Reds win, he typically will make anywhere from $175 to $250 a night. But when the Reds lose, he says it's about $150 or less. If they get more wins this year, it'll definitely help out my business. But for the bars at the banks, it's a different story. I asked the manager of Holy Grail if the red slow start has had any impact on business. Not really, not at all actually. Uh, we still only need a couple hundred people to fill this place. You know, of course, uh, we'd love to see the Reds doing better, but in the meantime, we're still doing great. Inside the stadium, we've been noticing a lot of empty seats, but around the ballpark, fans are still coming out. 100%, yeah. There's a there's a lot of diehard Red fans, okay? A lot more than there are Fairweather fans. I mean, it's Monday, it's a beautiful day, and we're almost at capacity for seating, so we're doing pretty good. And while the manager at Holy Grail says the Reds haven't had too much of an impact on business, he says the Dora absolutely has. He said it's been great for the atmosphere, and it's really helped to bring people out to the banks, especially during the week. Reporting live from the banks, Taylor Nimmo, WCPO 9 News. All right, Taylor, thanks.